Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fang company, so let's not stop late coding till we get there. Today we are going to do find minimum in a rotated sorted array and if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who already asked this question, there are companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Uber, Facebook, Apple, Bloomberg, Google and TikTok. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and basically we need to find the minimum inside a rotated sorted array. Now you will ask that what does a rotated sorted array means? We are actually given some definition of what a rotated sorted array is. If you want, you can iterate over this definition. But the thing is, let me quickly show it to you by an example. Basically, we are originally given a sorted array. Now for this sorted array, if we take the rightmost element and put it on the leftmost position and all the other subsequent elements, we flip it one side on the right side, we can determine this to be rotated one time. So if I take this original sorted array and if I rotate one time, so one time rotated array is going to look like this. You can see that this five that was originally at the rightmost position has been flipped to the leftmost position and all the other values we put shifted them one position on the right. Now if I uh, rotate this one more time, so eventually I would rotate, I would have rotated this array to two times. Basically, the result I would get is going to look like this there where the first two values are 4 and 5 and then we have 1, 2 and 3. Now over here, this 4 that was originally over here that came to this place. Now we can rotate it like 3 times, 4 times, as many times as we want. Like we can only rotate it up until 5, uh, five times because there are only 5 elements. Now, uh, basically in any rotated array, we need to find that what is the minimum value that is present in it. So if we try to understand this with an example, over here we are given some array uh, where the original version of array was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that got rotated 3 times and we were given this as the input. Now if we see the minimum value in this case is 1, so we need to return 1 as the answer. We are also given one key important detail that we have to find that we must write an algorithm that runs in big O of log n time. So that is the key part first let's see that what is going to be the brute force approach to solve this problem well the brute force approach that comes to our mind is that why don't we start iterating over the given array we have a variable called min or answer or whatever you want to call it and then uh, we start iterating over all the subsequent elements one at a time and whenever we find a lower value basically we update that in the min variable so eventually when we start iterating when we would have completed iteration we would find the value one to be the lowest value that we can find inside this array and that we are going to return as the answer this solution leads us to the correct answer there are no issues with this one but why this brute, sol brute force solution does not work in your interview or uh, interview or anywhere else is because this solution actually happens in big o of n time because we are iterating over all the L n elements and we were explicitly told that we need to solve this problem in big o of log n time so that's why this brute force solution won't work now, whenever we see log and solution, immediate thing that comes to our mind is that we are going to use binary search, right? And that is true that we are going to use binary search in this case. But before we do that, let's make some logic clear. Well, the key part of the logic we have is that if we compare the left and right element for any given array, if the array is completely sorted, which is the case in uh, over here, that the entire array has been completely sorted. There are no mismatching pairs, right? So because this array is completely sorted, if we compare the leftmost element and rightmost element or any element with its left element, uh, basically we would find that the value at the left element is always less than whatever value at the right element we have. Like if we compare these three variables and if we compare the right variable to be over here, basically again in this case the right is 3 and left is 1. So we can conclude that this whole portion is sorted. If we have the right variable located at this position, uh, basically we, we have the value of left to be 1 and right to be 5. Again left is less than 1. So we can conclude that this whole portion is actually sorted. So the lowest value that we can achieve in this whole portion between this left and right is going to be whatever value that is located at the leftmost position. Now, whenever we compare the left value and right value and we determine that left is actually greater than right. If we find that left is actually greater than right, we can determine that the minimum value exists somewhere between left and right. We don't know that at what position minimum value exists. But the thing is, we need to achieve to the direction where we can actually find left is less than right. Because remember, 
over here currently the value of left is 3 and value of right is 2 so in this case left is actually greater than 2 whenever we have to find the minimum value we will have to move in a direction where we will reach uh, to a conclusion where left is less than right and in order to achieve that what we are going to do is we are going to compare the value of the left to the middle uh, pointer that exists and depending on the value of the middle pointer we would determine that the minimum value if does it exist on the left side of the middle pointer or on the right side of the middle pointer and depending on that we will uh, update our value of left pointer or right pointer so let me show you with a broader example what i'm trying to say so i have drawn a big example over here and first let's uh, denote assign our initial values of left and right right uh, so we have the values of left and right set up for us now we know that we need to reach to a position where left is less than right if that is the case then we will have some interesting results right but currently if we see the value of left is 2 and value of right is 1 so left is actually greater than 1 so now we will have to move in some direction so now what we are going to do is we are going to find the mid value and also remember we are going to have an answer variable that is going to store the lowest value we have been able to find so far so currently the value of left is 2 value of right is 1 right so we are not going to do anything in the answer yet now we are going to find the middle pointer so the current middle pointer is going to be at position number 4 why because left position is 0 right position is 8 so 0 plus 8 is equal to 8 divided by 2 that gives us the middle value and middle value in this case is going to be the 4 right so the value that is located at the fourth position is 6 now we need to compare the values between left and mid left and mid if we compare left is 2 and mid is 6 so 2 is less than 6 now remember whenever we identify that the left value is less than whatever the value we compared we can dictate that every value in between is actually greater than the value of the left which means that no value amongst these values can be the answer or can be the minimum value because uh, remember we already know that on the right hand side the value is actually less than left and because of that we will have to update our migration on the right side and also remember whenever we compare the value of left value with the mid value whatever the lower value is we are going to store it so currently the lowest value we have been able to find is 2 so we are going to store 2 as the answer right now we are going to uh, switch our left pointer to go on the right side of the mid so now let me clean this up a bit so now this is going to be our new left pointer and this is going to be our new right pointer again we are going to compare the value of left and right so left is actually greater than right right so now we will have to find the mid pointer mid pointer in this case is going to be left plus right divided by 2 so the current value of left is 5 right is 8 so 13 divided by 2 if we put it uh, floor value we will get the value of 6 so 6 is going to be the middle pointer in this case so now we have the 6 to be the middle pointer now we are going to compare left with the middle pointer and now in this case left is actually less than middle pointer which means that answer cannot lie between left and middle pointer and again we will have to update the value of the left pointer also for this leftmost value we will compare that whether we need to update the answer or not so answer currently we had was 2 and this is 7 so we don't need to update the answer and we are good up until this point okay now again we determine that this value is not the answer now our left pointer comes at this position our right pointer comes at this position again we are going to compare the values of left and right so currently left is actually less than right and that is the ideal scenario that we found that left is like actually less than right which means that now left is at the correct position to be the lowest position that it can be uh, before it iterates or it takes over right and now because of this one uh, we are going to update uh, we are going to see that whether we need to update our answer or not so current answer we had was 2 and because left was less than right we are going to compare the left value with this answer value and uh, the left value is actually 0 so we are going to update the answer to be 0 and in this case this is the correct answer that we are able to find and we are going to return that uh, let's try to understand the same thing with another example so in this case left is over here right is over here currently uh, left is actually greater than right so because of that we will have to find the middle value so middle value is going to be this one so now if we see currently the left is actually greater than middle value as well which means we cannot determine 
that the left and middle portion is actually completely sorted we can only determine that the middle and right portion is completely sorted so in this case we are actually going to update the value of the right pointer and we are going to determine that these are all the values that are not part of the answer so we can just simply ignore them and we will not do anything for these values so now currently our right pointer comes over here now because of that we are again going to repeat the same process and we will try to find the middle value middle value in this case is going to be 8 right so we are going to compare left with the middle value so left with the middle value if we compare left is actually less than the middle value if that is the case we can determine that no value over here is the middle minimum value so we can simply ignore that and now our left value becomes this one our right value becomes this one and now if we compare left is actually less than right left is less than right that is the ideal scenario that we were looking for which means that now left is at the correct position where the value is actually minimum and in the answer we are going to denote the value to be zero and that is going to be the answer we are going to return now if we see time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of log n because remember during any single iteration we actually removed the half of the candidates that we are we were trying to search for and that is why we are actually using binary search in this program to solve this problem and that is the logic we are going to use uh, and now let's move on to the coding so first of all we are going to initialize three variables left right and answer now we are going to test for an edge case that if the nums array only has one element basically we can return that as the answer okay, if that is not the case we are going to run our while loop that while left is less than or equal to right first we are going to check that if the current left and right position makes the array completely sorted or not and that can only happen if the value at number of left uh, is actually less than whatever the value of uh, nums at right we have and if that is the case we are going to see that whether we need to update our answer or not if that is not the case we will have to calculate the middle pointer so first we are going to initialize a value called mid and we are going to calculate the middle pointer after calculating the midpointer, we are again going to check that whether we need to update our answer or not. Now we are going to see that which way on the midpointer do we need to take the jump. So if uh, we def if we find out that the current value of left is actually less than or equal to mid value, then we will have to update the value of left pointer to the right side of the mid. And if that is not the case, which means we will have to update our right pointer. Basically, that's all we have to do for our binary search operation. After this loop ends, we can simply return whatever we have stored in the answer. And now let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code is actually pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions. And I would be actually posting the solution in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.